Good day everyone, Maggie B for Apps for iPads here with a video review of a wonderful note-taking application for your iPad called Note Taker HD. This application is developed by Dan Bricklin and I think he's got a five-star application on his hands here. It has been out for just a little while. Last week we saw a revision come out where the ink, it's its absolutely wonderful. its It's like writing with a um, a uh, fine tip marker or a gel pen. It just flows onto the iPad. It, it's, it's a wonderful experience that you need to try out yourself. But in the meantime, what I want to do is I want to walk you through and give you a little overview. I'm not going to be able to go through everything, but Dan has some wonderful um, movies on YouTube himself that you can check out after this and I will put links to those for you on our website at appsforipads.net as you can see when you come into the application you are presented with a for all the pages that you have generated to date and by tapping on any one of them it will bring up a larger a version in the right hand screen. Double tapping on that screen will take you immediately to the um, page that you've generated. What you're looking at now is edit one view which means you're seeing the entire thing. You're seeing it in full width. That's exactly how I like to work on it. You can also see it in full size. Now you can write right on here, but the thing is, and I'm sure you found this for the other applications for note taking that are available for the iPad, that if you do that, you have to learn to be really, really good at writing really, really tiny, or else you don't get much on a page. But um, Dan has something called Edit 2, and when you go into Edit 2, it gives you this blue box. And this blue box allows you to maneuver through the or the uh, open page so that what you write down here in normal size writing appears in smaller print up at the top. And the one up at the top is actually what would print out. That's like your eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So it gives you a much easier way to write all of your information down. As you can see, if I scroll through here with this, I'm going to quickly go through here and show you. This is what looks what it looks like if you're using the fine point. That's uh, number one out of five of the inks that you have available to you. Number two gets a little bit thicker. Number three of five gets thicker still. Then you have four, which is nice and bold, and five is really big. Five is the uh, default for the um, highlighter. If you scroll back up here, you'll see that you can highlight things in the application. He has, um, to show you, he has four different colors that you can highlight. These are the um, sizes of the line that you're writing with, and there are 16 colors that you can pick from. And I'll just give you a quick view of what those are going to look like when you go to use them. Everything from black to orchid and anything in between. When you're working, I'm going to move down here so that we're in an area where there's um, nothing written yet and you have a background I'll show you in settings you can change your background I prefer to work on thin lines and a white background because that's the kind of tablet I use I like to use when I'm using just a plain old paper tablet which is never going to happen again and I'll tell you why that too hold on just a minute um, when you write and I, I excuse this is kind of difficult in front of the camera but as you see when I write It's simple. It's it's like smooth as silk. It's very easy to do. You'll love it. It's just it's absolutely wonderful. Now, if I made a mistake, if I click on undo, it takes away one at a time whatever was the last thing that my pen was on the paper. Or if I want, I can get an eraser and I can erase whatever I want from the paper. 
it's pretty slick. It's really, it's, it's very nice. Up here in settings, you're going to see that you have a number of things that you can do. You will put, you can put a name to each of your, um, posts or your papers so that you know exactly what it's about. The thumbnail is set at default, but I actually like to put a custom thumbnail in mine. It All you do is click on um, custom and it lets you drag a box over what part of the paper you want to highlight. That way, I always put something that is going to make me instantly know which paper I'm looking at even when it's just a thumbnail. If it's a diagram or something that I've highlighted, it's just, if that's my preference, you can do it however you'd like or you can use the default, but it is a nice feature. You can star different papers at, that you've generated as your favorites. You can flag them. Like I said, you can, there, there's backgrounds that you can pick from. Um, even the color of the backgrounds, you can have white, the normal notebook yellow, there's a mint green, there's all different kinds. The one thing that's in here that absolutely sets this app apart are the tags. Tags that let you search and find your information after the fact. How many of you have spiral notebooks full of notes that you've taken over the years from webinars, conferences, business meetings, and then you go back and you try to find that particular paper that has the information you need on it? If it's more than a week ago, oh my goodness, it's so hard to do. Well, this lets you set up tags. tags that Then what you do is you just check mark which ones apply and you can always add more you can add as many as you want and you can tags or think of them as a shirt as the search terms as your keyword search terms so you can add as many as you feel necessary to be able to find your information again so you just check mark which ones belong to it and hit done and they're automatically assigned so when you go back out of here and you're within all of this huge, it could be, you know, hundreds of pages. All you do is you have to hit tag, click here to, to get to your um, list of tags, and say I wanted everything that had my name in it. Those two have my name in it. Um, anything has the word challenge in it. All those have the word challenge in it. Anything that says no take your HD. There you go. There it is. That's that's the review that I that's what I worked on when I first started to review the product. It's it's just absolutely amazing and it's wonderful. When you want to do your own paper to start with, all you're going to do is tap on the plus sign, go to a page. You can even bring in if you want custom pages you have the ability to put a background picture on a page you can use your own stationery you can do a watermark you can import pictures it's just a myriad of things that you can do with this so see automatically this is this is how it comes up there's a wrist guard this little green dot means there's a wrist guard here if you like working in edit one which is the full page you know that when you write on them you hit it with your wrist and you make marks well, you can move this wrist guard around to where you're working and it's like putting a piece of paper underneath your arm so that you don't um, make any extra marks on the page that aren't meant to be there. And because this moves around, if you're a left-handed person that has a tendency to have their wrist above their writing, it's not a problem. You have the ability to do that. So there are just so many things, and I can't say enough about Notaker HD. I really encourage you to check it out yourself today. Read the rest of the review. I will have more on the website. That's apps for iPads.net. You'll see the, if you're on YouTube, you can see the, um, the link in the description below. This is Maggie B for Apps for iPads. You got to try it out. We'll see you on the website, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.